Today, I'm interviewing Mike Lombardo, GlideFast CEO, ServiceNow Elite Partner of the Year, two years running. And this is day 15 of 100 Days of ServiceNow, and I'm Kylie Alexander, ServiceNow Technical Trainer. Now, if you don't know who Mike Lombardo is, I have two things for you. One, where have you been? And secondly, and most importantly, you are in for a real treat. And without further ado, welcome to the stream, Mike Lombardo. Good to have you here. Kylie, great to be here. Thanks for having me. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Now, you're known around the ServiceNow ecosystem as the mayor of ServiceNow. How did you get that <laughs> moniker? Uh, I wish it was a little more uh, uh, fun, but, you know, I, I appointed myself the mayor. Really, uh, growing up, my mother always said to me, Michael, one day I want you to be the mayor. You should be the mayor um, of our city. So I kind of just, uh, that stuck with me one time. And, you know, as I was trying to build GlideFast and build our brand, I, I just, uh, I, I love that ServiceNow mayor. Um, and so I really have to thank my mother for that. But uh, it wasn't really a cool story like some other people's nicknames. Man, whenever there's a story that involves Big Mama, that's a cool story. <laughs> so thank you, Mama Lombardo, because you definitely are the mayor. You know, we're the you're like, you know, that kind of touch point when you enter the service now ecosystem is like certain things that you have to do and certain people you have to know. And you're definitely that guy. So tell me a little bit about your service now story. How did you get into service now? Yeah, so I um I got into service now. I was I was uh this was 2010, so Aspen release. It's easier to go by releases mm -hmm. than years. Um, but you know, 2010, Aspen release. Uh I was working the help desk at a, a large hospital in Boston. And um uh my manager came to me one day and said, Hey, we just bought this platform called Service Now. And um, you know, you built a knowledge base. I had built a knowledge base, uh uh, outside of, you know, obviously we didn't have service now at the time. And he said, Hey, they have a knowledge base, you know, you built one. Do you want to try to be the admin of this platform? And I said, sure. I don't know what service now is, but give, I'll, I'll take a look at it. And, uh, you know, from that, from that day on, I just fell in love with the platform. Uh, absolutely obsessed with it. And, you know, it just got uh, my full attention 24 hours a day. I mean, uh, my friends used to call me uh, laptop boy sometimes because mm. uh, I'd have at parties and everything. I'd have my laptop walking around with me still, you know, trying to learn, you know, how to code and how to build workflows and all that. And, and, uh, and, and then I joined a consulting firm and, and then started GlideFast uh, uh, eight years ago, 2015. So uh, over a decade now in the space and, and loving it. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a really great story. You know, I love when I hear people's service now story and especially those, those what I call the voluntold stories, <laughs> like we're bringing on this platform. <laughs> hey, <laughs> how about you learn this thing? But it's, it served yeah. you well. It has really served you well. I want to yeah, ask you, you about, you said in 2015 is when you started GlideFast. And yeah. when I introduced you to the stream, I said, hey, you know, this is, Glide, the CEO of GlideFast Consulting, ServiceNow Elite Partner of the Year, 2022, 2023, two years running. When you think about those right. early days, like how, what, what goes through your mind when you juxtapose where, you, where GlideFast is now to those early days in 2015 in Aspen? You know, it's funny because, uh, well, 2015 wasn't Aspen. Uh, I don't, I would, actually, it's a great question. I wonder what release we were on in 2015 when we started GlideFast. But it's really, it's funny because it's really the same energy. Mm. It's really the same challenges. You know, it's not like we're in a place now where we think we're perfect and there's no improvement needed. Right. So it's always been, how do we get better? How do we provide a better implementation and a service to our customers? How do we be a better partner to service now? How do we be a better place to work for all of our consultants? You know, um, so, and it starts with me, right? How can I be the best leader? How can I support people? And, you know, so that's always been the mission. And so it's like, you know, we're, what were we thinking then? It's like the same thing we're thinking now. It's still day one. You know, we got a lot of work to do. You know, th this space is growing so fast, right? And changing so fast. Every new release, we have new products, we have enhanced products. So we need to stay up to speed with 
all the new releases. And that's always been the challenge, right? You know, I remember when they first rolled out uh, scoped HR app and you know, that like we, we, we had a huge initiative to start rolling customers off of their custom built stuff or the, the non scoped app and, and move them into the, into the, into the scoped app. And so it's, you're, there's always something to learn. There's always improvements to make. There's always ways to make things better for at our home at GlideFast for people who live here. And, um, really that's the same energy and I never want to lose that. I, I could, you know, because once you, once you lose that, you, you lose your business and you lose the ex, you lose mm. the elite status, um, that you have. Yeah. That brings me to, to my next question. When people, because there are lots of partners out there, when people choose glide fast, yeah. what are they getting that they're not getting anywhere else? Yeah. I mean, when you, when you choose glide fast, you know, I always say you're not just getting one consultant, right? And we have some of the best, uh, you know, developers, architects, uh, process consultants, engagement managers out there, but it's the team, right? You know, so you, you, you know, we, we embrace this, um, uh, this, this methodology called Ubuntu. Mm-hmm. And I know it's a little bit of a funny word. Um, but I actually learned from it from uh, your favorite team, the Celtics. Uh, oh no, you didn't! Yeah. Oh, Laker Nation all day, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah, I was watching actually a Kevin Garnett documentary, and and um, and they talked about this this thing called Ubuntu, and it basically means giving yourself to the person next to you. So putting the person next to you above your own needs, um, and then in turn it comes back around twofold. You know, so by you being there and everybody being there for the person next to them, when they need somebody, when you need somebody, somebody is always there for you, right? When you're stuck on a, on a, on a technical question, when you're uh, not sure how to answer a tough question from a customer or deal with a conflict with a customer, you can reach out and there's always somebody there to reach down and give you a helping hand. And that's what makes GlideFast special. That's what makes GlideFast special to work at. That's what makes GlideFast special for our customers and service now. And, you know, I, another thing that, about GlideFast is we're not driven by money or we're driven by passion. You know, we love the ServiceNow platform because it solves real world problems. We're doing good. We're, we're helping the workforce of the world do a better job at, at, at serving their customers, right? So... Um, and a lot of us, you know, if you, for me, right, I believed in this platform back in 2010, I believed it could be something. I believe it could get to the next level. It's not just going to be incident management and tickets. And, and, and we saw that actually happen. You know, the, 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 the biggest thing you could do to, to inspire passion and, um, and determination is, you know, believing in something and then it actually coming true. I mean, you know, so, so many people in the ServiceNow community uh, are so passionate about ServiceNow because it, like, the, the dream came true. You know, and Bill McDermott yeah. says dream big. Like, we did dream big and the dream came true. And we, we're still, we know there's so much runway left. We know it can get to the next level. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're definitely taking it there. When I first started learning ServiceNow, Seems like yesterday. Actually, it kind of was yesterday compared to how long you've been in the in the game. My mom asked me, "Well, what is Service Now?" And so I asked her, like, "What is her her favorite shopping experience?" And she said, "Costco." And I said, "Well, the reason why you love Costco so much is not just because yeah. the prices, but it's because there is this." automation and workflows that take place in the backdrop that allow you to have this seamless like, experience. And this is something that I shared with you when we first met our very I first remember. conversation. Yep. <laughs> and you were like, well, I have a story for you. I did yep. their first implementation. Tell yep. me about that and maybe a little bit more about some of those early projects you worked on to help you sharpen your ServiceNow acts. Yeah, that that Costco uh, re-implementation of ServiceNow was was really almost like a coming out of my shell project for me. I already had um, multiple years of experience in service. Now I've done multi- I did multiple implementations, but you know that was at a a scale I had never seen before. It was two hundred fifty thousand employees. You know I I had come on just to, uh, as a technical consultant, but I ended up really becoming the architect and really uh, taking the reins. So it was really just a leveling up project for me. 
I can shout out to the whole Costco team. Like they were just phenomenal people. I was in Issaquah, Washington, some, you know, every other week. And, um, uh, it just, just, just a great project. I learned so much. Um, and you know, I built a really strong relationship with that service now team. Cause it was a service now, uh, professional services project that they brought Glidefast in for, but, um, you know, just built such strong relationships and really built a name for myself because it had so much visibility, you know, all the way up to uh, C level at ServiceNow um, and super successful implementation. You mentioned you gave a shout out to the folks that you work with at that time, which brings me to how do you select talent for GlideFast? Yeah, the first thing I care about and we care about. Uh, because it's, 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 you know, it's no longer just me, right? Uh, it, it hasn't been for a long time. Um, you know, we care about, you know, helping, helping people. We want good people. We want, we want to, this is our home that we're here to live on, live in. Right. And this is a, a community. So we want people who are honest, that care about each other, that care about customers that have that passion Um, that, that, you know, just aren't driven by money and greed, you know, um, we all obviously have to make money and, you know, this is a highly competitive space. So we want to compensate people, right. But I want people that want to change the world. I want people that want to make an impact. I want people that want to smash big rocks. And, you know, that's been my mission. What gets me up in the morning is not a paycheck. What gets me up in the morning is I want to totally dominate the service now space. So, you know, you, uh, my mother always told me, and this is my mo- another big mama reference, um, you know, s- show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And so I want to surround, I've always tried to surround myself with the right people. And that's really, you know, what, what we were fortunate enough to have at GlideFast early on was the right people around us. And we kept that same mentality. Um, and, you know, it's funny because people are like, oh, Mike, you know, you do so much for GlideFast, whatever. I'm probably the least valuable person at GlideFast. You know, the people around me are 10 times smarter than me. They know 10 times more about the platform. I'm just the crazy guy out there with the GlideFast flag running around uh, screaming we're the best company in the world, right? But it's yeah. we're the best because of the people who work here. And that goes down to every single person. I don't care if you're a non-billable person, your back office, every single aspect of our business, we need that, that A plus five-star service. And that's what we have. And I'm so proud to just be a member of this team. That, that makes me think about you have a couple projects that are going on or some of the, the appendages, I'll say, of GlideFast Consulting. There's GlideFast uh, Consulting University, GCU, and there's also yeah. GlideFast Plus. And I mentioned yeah. both of those because in October 2022, CEO Bill McDermott of ServiceNow announced Rise Up, the yeah. initiative to scale up 1 million people on the platform by the end of 2024. And this is a situation where you are really putting effort in that direction. GCU, I think, is the only university that I've ever heard of where there not only is there no tuition, but you actually pay folks to go to the university. Yep. T- tell me about that. Okay, so I got to go back to my career start to, to explain GCU. Um, so I entered the tech space through a program called Year Up. And uh, if you want to check it out, not Year Up, Year Up, like one year, yearup.org. And um, you'll see, I'm going to be doing a lot with it. It's a nonprofit foundation focused on, you know, helping underprivileged minorities or urban youth um, who maybe didn't go the traditional route of college or, or don't have the the money to, to go to college. And, and, and it basically, it's a six month training program and then a six month internship. And that's at 19 years old. That's how I entered the, the IT field. And that's how I entered the, the professional workforce. I got an internship at Partners Healthcare doing help desk. Um, And so, but same concept, they paid us through the whole process, which I could not understand. Um, And I was one of the early classes, I was class nine, I think they're on class like 45 or, you know, it's it's been around for 23 years now. Um, And so 
but I just love that, that model. Like it got me in the door. Okay. You telling me I get college credits, I get an internship in the professional organization and I, and I get paid throughout the whole process. Um, all right, I'll give it a shot. So, you know, not only do am I forever grateful to the Europe organization and anyone listening involved the Europe, you know, put it in the comments. It's, it, you know, it's the, it's one of the greatest organizations doing so much good and has been, you know, they've been doing good for people when it wasn't cool to do good for people. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they, they've been around shout out to Gerald, uh, Tretavian, the CEO and founder. He's an amazing person. Um, but that changed my life. And so we took that kind of same model of, Hey, we know you can't just go through online training and you know, um, in, in a silo and, and really become a service now expert. You really need that hand holding and you really need that, um, the, the, the infrastructure of a company like Glidefast to really nurture people to learn the platform. So it's a three month program where we pay people to come into the office, sit down, go through our program that we've spent a lot of time cultivating. We're on our, I think we're on our fifth cohort. Um, and we're really shout out to everybody that's involved with GCU all the, the cloud pirates teams that, that made it happen. Um, it, it's an amazing program and it's doing good. Like it's great that it's a profitable thing. And, you know, we get, we, we are building talent and, you know, it's better for Glidefast and better for our customers and better for service now, but look at the career it created for, for me, for you, for others. We're taking people that maybe, they were warehouse workers or, you know, we had some baristas and some bartenders that came in and now they're, they're developers and architects, you know? So it's really exciting that we're helping people build careers. It's not a handout. They have to work as, you know, that was year up too. It wasn't a handout. You had to work for it. So that's the vision, you know, give people the opportunity to work and learn and build a career and change their lives. I have Omar Tariq in the chat and I want to shout him out. He's leaving, dropping firebombs. He was like, GCU is the best learning experience I've ever had. So I could not let that go unnoticed. Um, I'm Kylie Alexander. I'm talking to Mike Lombardo, CEO of Glidefast Consulting. Tell me about Glidefast Plus. Glidefast Plus. So, you know, ServiceNow has a ton of online training out there. And it's phenomenal. And now learning, shout out to that whole ServiceNow uh, our um, learning team. But, you know, we wanted to build our own platform where, um, and who knows where it's going to end up, right? Uh, we do, you, you know, our YouTube channel, we do a ton of content. We're, we, we're, we're of the belief of, we want to share the knowledge. We don't want to hold it in and, you know, you know say we're the only experts, right? We want to, everything we learn, we want to share it with the world. And we think that's only going to make service now stronger. The more expertise, just like the rise up program, the more expertise that are out there, the more people that do have the service now knowledge needed to take this platform further, it's only going to help everybody, right? Rising tide lifts all, all boats. Um, so we wanted to build our own flavor of, of online training. Um, that's going to be a little bit further step up from, uh, just, just available on YouTube. So definitely requires, you know, a lot of investment. I know you're going to be helping out a ton with that. Um, so we want to offer it at a small fee and then we want to give it to our customers, uh, for free, just for working with us. We want to give them access to all that training. Um, and who knows where it's going to end up? You know, it's a lot of times we just lead with, with passion and a belief and, you know, and, and let the world kind of, uh, work itself out and go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is uh, the day of this filming. If you're watching this live, this is February 3rd, 2023. 2323. Three, three. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I know. It means something to someone. I don't know. But this is Black History Month. And one of the initiatives that Glidefast started was a donation to Black Girls Code. Mm. Tell me about that and why are initiatives like this important to you? Yeah. So um, I'll start off by saying like every month, we have uh, some money budgeted for donations. So we love to give to nonprofits and in organizations that we believe in. For me, the biggest organizations that I'm supporting right now is Year Up, uh, unbelievable nonprofit, and the Joe Andrewsy Foundation, another nonprofit, um, you know, fighting, uh, helping families uh, pay for bills that are battling cancer. 
Um, so those two uh, foundations personally to me, um, will I'll always, uh, be a main supporter of and, and do everything in my, my power to make sure they're successful. Um, but you know, we have a, a culture club here at Glidefast, and they're responsible for identifying every month, a new, uh, nonprofit foundation or an, or an existing one that we have, um, or that we have supported in the past. And, um, and they came up with, with, uh, with this, with this organization. So, you know, to be honest, I don't know too much about it. I trust that the culture team to, to pick, a um, a, a, an organization that they believe in, that they want to support. Um, it's a voluntary club and, uh, I love the progress and, and all the, the benefits will, you know, we just want to do good out there. Right. Like, so anytime, anytime we can add positivity in the world, um, you know, I'm always all for that. Yeah. If you, those of you listening, if you go to Glidefast LinkedIn profile, there is a, po- a featured post that gives you information about how just some simple things that you can do. And when you do those things, like sharing the post, liking the post, Glidefast will put money behind your engagement with that post. So it's something to definitely check out on the Glidefast LinkedIn profile. I'm Kylie Alexander. This is Mike Lombardo, CEO of Glidefast Consulting. Final question for you. <laughs> Where will Glidefast be in five years? Oh, we will be a global elite partner. We will be the unequivocal leader in the space. Um, you know, we will be uh, side by side with, with Bill McDermott and his leadership team. And, um, you know, man, how many, how many team members are we going to have? I don't know. We're gonna, I'll tell you, we'll be at the biggest uh, projects, making the biggest impact in the space having the most fun, having the biggest parties, um, and, and being there for each other. You know, that's, you know, the, 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 I'll tell you the secret and people always say, what's the secret sauce to Gladfast? It's simple. We're there for each other. We care about each other. We love each other. We don't put money above our relationships. We don't put, um, you know, greed above our customers. You know, we do, we do the best work we can. Um, and we have challenges, of course, everyone does it. If, you know, if, if we try to say we're perfect, it's, we'd be lying, but you know, we just, we care, you know, I think we care. Uh, I've seen a lot of partners out there. I've worked for some of them and, you know, I think we care we're, we're driven by just a different, um, a different, uh, energy. It's just a, we care about our customers in the big, in the big projects and results. Yeah, 100%. Mike, I want to thank you so much for sharing your time with us. This has been a joy to be chatting with you. And everybody out there, I want to say thank you for coming. Mike, thank you again. I appreciate your time. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Take care, everybody.